All right, guys, so we are here in St. Louis. I'm on my way home and I decided to stop by another barbecue spot. I, I just remember on my way up, I was thinking about there was a, there was a place that I, I wanted to check out in St. Louis. I think it's called Smoking O's. Uh, and I looked them up and unfortunately there, it said it was temporarily closed on Google. So uh, the one thing that I wanted to check out was trying snoots, uh, which is basically kind of like the skin or the skin and the uh, basically the pig nose or the pig snout that is basically kind of flattened out, smoked uh, until it gets nice and crispy. And uh, I saw another place that, I'm sure a lot of places do that here uh, in St. Louis. I just haven't been around here enough to know, you know, what are the best spots for it. There's a spot called Big Mama's Barbecue and I decided to uh, make a stop. So I got the rib tip and snoots combo. Like I said, that's what I was looking for. And you know, rib tips are definitely something I'm familiar with because being from Chicago, definitely a lot of those. And the snoots is the thing that I haven't really had before, but I'm really looking forward to eating. So it's basically, like you said, the snoot or the, uh, basically the nose of the, of the pig and kind of make it into these chips right here. I've heard all the places say they do it with like the, the just the cheek skin and stuff like that, but I'm guessing this hole right here means it's actually from the snoot. Got sauce on the side, and we also got some coleslaw. So let's go with these rib tips right here. I know a lot of people don't like rib tips because, or spare ribs because of the cartilage, but this is why I like it when you cook it down so the cartilage isn't super bright white. It's like starting to get a little translucent because I personally like eating them. Especially if you're just doing rib tips, you gotta cook them down enough so they can bite through it, which they do and it's really, really good. All right, so let's go with the main attraction. We're gonna go with the snoot. I'm just gonna try it with, uh, without the sauce first and yeah, let's get a shot. It's good, it's just like, Right pork skin. This barbecue sauce is really good. I mean, it's like that. I mean, it's that sweet, super savory barbecue sauce, kind of like what you would expect to get in the Midwest. It's like that really, really thick kind of ketchup base, red sauce. Uh, there's a couple herbs and stuff kind of floating in there, but yeah, I got no complaints. Like this is, honestly, when you're eating things like rib tips and the rib tips don't look like they're super seasoned and things like the snoots where I think it might just be um, the skin on top that definitely does not look seasoned very much at all the backside it's scored because uh, I think so that it can lay it flat so it doesn't curl up um, but it doesn't look like it's super seasoned either so having the sauce being you know having all the seasoning in it and it being really sweet and, and savory uh, it's really really nice I think I might have said this in my other videos. When I go to other barbecue spots, I don't really necessarily want super and all their sides to be super crazy, especially when it's like one of these smaller places. I just like getting either their slaw or their potato salad. I asked them which one they like better. They said potato salad, so let's give it a try. And then compared to the other place in, where is that, at Tops? I think that was in Arkansas or like just outside of Memphis. This one is a little bit sweeter. There's uh, there's some relish in here. Um, there's some like red pepper. This one's also kind of like a mustard based one, a uh, mustard and mayo based one, but it's a little bit sweeter. Um, I like it. They also have like a whole menu, uh, a lot of other fried items as well, uh, but I just wanted to focus on the barbecue stuff. But this one kind of gave me some uh, truth vibes right here. One thing that they had on the on the menu was cakes, and this one right here is a ooh, this one smells really good. This one is a banana pudding cake. Just to get a better look at this cake right here, look at all those layers. And I'm not really a big cake guy, but I am excited to try this one. All right, let's make sure we get one of each layer. And there's that slice of that banana pudding cake. Yeah. It's super moist and the cake, and with all the pudding, kind of tastes like a pound cake too. 
kind of has like a Boston cream pie kind of feel to it too. Um, with having that, with that, with having the pudding and cake being a little bit dense, but it being kind of moistened up because of that, um, that pudding. But yeah, that's really good. I would definitely come back and get that cake if I ever drove by here again. All right, guys. So this is another one of those spots. Like I said, I want to be able to check out some of these smaller kind of mom and pop joints. Um, and this place being called Big Mama's Barbecue. Uh, it's, I think it's really cool. The other two spots that we've been on this trip that weren't in Texas, how the food is like this plate of food. You know, it's half a pound of rib tips and a half pound of snoots. Um, and this, uh, the, the potato salad was separate and with the cake, it was less than 20 bucks. It was like 18 something. When they told me the price, I was like, my mind, I was like, wow, like that's a steal. And that's me just coming from looking at all these central Texas style barbecue restaurants where everyone's buying meat by the pound. You know, when you go to other places, you could obviously get plates that are a reasonable price that are similar to this, um, which I think is the way to go in most cases anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. Uh, but it's just really cool to, again, come to these places where, you know, there's really nothing going around on this intersection here. Like, it's right off of the highway. If I moved a little bit, I could probably see the arches of St. Louis right now, too. And you see a lot of people who are kind of coming in and out. I was going to check out inside and sit there, but it seemed like most people were going through the drive through And I wanted to kind of get the full experience of what most people do here anyway. And the other thing that they just kind of you know, stated as saying that like, yeah, even though you're going through a drive through um, this food is kind of made and prepared the same way as you get anywhere else. So it's going to take some time. If we run out, then we have, uh, unfortunately we run out as well. So uh, yeah, I think it's just, again, really cool to come to a different place. And, and the snoots, it was something that I kind of knew about, but it didn't really hit me until I was like on my way uh, back home. And I've been to St. Louis before to have barbecue. I've been to Pappy's and one other place. And I'll be honest with you, it's it's fine. Like, I don't think it's bad, but it's not something that I personally think is worth traveling for. But something like this, I'm not necessarily saying the food is better or worse, but it's different. Like, I, I don't think they have snoots at, um, at Pappy's or at any of those other, you know, bigger places that obviously just because of how everything is, everyone's selling you know brisket and beef ribs and things like that anyway guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe share this video with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one